As somebody with a lot of experience in the Secret Service, is it correct, sir, that you at this point have members of the Secret Service whistleblowing and calling you right now to talk to you about the culture of the Secret Service? There were so many. Um, it's, um, it's getting to the point now where I thank them and, and say, I, but I've already heard that from 10 other guys. Um, and I bring that up because none of these problems are new. Anybody telling you that is lying directly to your face, and you better hope they're not under oath. Anyone is suggesting in a congressional hearing or elsewhere um, that, that these problems are new, the personnel problems, the logistics problems, the manpower problems, the technology problems. I just told you a sad running joke in the service when I was there. I'm gone since 2011. It, it, last time I checked, it's 2024. It was yesterday's technology tomorrow. And, and, and other, other things here that are inexcusable that have been brought up before, uh, like uh, uh, Ben and, and, uh, and Eric just brought up. The communication failures are basic. This isn't like the Secret Service million-dollar radio system that uses uh, NSA-level encryption magically broke down that day. They literally handed them a radio they didn't take. This is why when Congressman Mills says you know, borderline criminal negligence, you should take that seriously. What could possibly, possibly be your excuse to say, you know what, I don't really need to communicate with the law enforcement guys out there on the scene. We asked, asked to, they had no obligation to be there. It's a Secret Service's job to protect the president. Out of the of courtesy, they showed up. And you don't even have the respect of these local law enforcement people, respect for them to take the radio? I mean, where was the CP, the command post? There's, the way this works, so everybody understands, or it's supposed to and didn't that day, for reasons still unexplained outside of, again, obscene negligence, any trip for a high-level protectee, you're supposed to have a command post that runs the whole trip at the airport or whatever. They'll communicate with everyone. But those individual sites, like in Butler County, have security rooms themselves, which are kind of mini CPs at each site. Where was it? According to what, what Ben said before and from what I've heard, it was either not there or the, the locals were running it, offered communications, and the Secret Service, whose job it was that day to protect President Trump, said, eh, we're going to pass on the comms. I, I, really, you described it as catastrophic. I, it, he's 100 percent correct. Eric knows exactly what he's talking about. It's apocalyptic failure. Mr. Bongino, in your uh, opinion, is the Secret Service in a better spot? today with Director Rowe in charge? No, it's, it's worse. And, and sadly, I'm glad this is all being recorded because when something else happens, and I hope it doesn't, I pray to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that I'm wrong, that you play this and go, look, that guy was crazy. You think this is the last incident, you're out of your mind. We have seen these incidents over and over. We saw the Georgia grenade incident with President Bush. They overtook the magnetometers. The Secret Service leadership in charge now with the exact same people. Exact same. Can you imagine a C-suite at a company that makes widgets? We find out that there's a, there's a design defect. The widget explodes and kills 10 people, and the CTO gets a promotion to CEO. You understand that's what happened here, correct? These are the same people. Kim Cheadle, the director, wasn't even fired. She was allowed to resign. She'll go get some cushy job somewhere, and her deputy, who is one of the guys behind these stupid... Waste of time things like agents wearing red ties on the detail. Because, because, this actually happened, by the way. You, 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 these people will tell you this on the road if you get the right people. He was concerned about the tie color of the agents on the detail because it seemed to imply he supported President Trump. Congressman Biggs wearing a red tie. You're wearing a semi-red tie. It has nothing to do with anything. This is the kind of stuff the Secret Service was actually wasting their time with while withholding CSU counter uh, surveillance assets and counter sniper assets from probably the most threatened man on earth. If you can explain it, good luck, because that's not the agency I worked for.